Hey, Flimsy Let's Try here, and we are currently live streaming on Twitch. And we're going to look at the new dev blog, um, new ships, and the closed test of update 12.7. So feel free to interact in chat if you have questions or things along the way. Granted, I don't know everything since this is just an introductory uh, taste um, to the, de the dev blog for those watching live on Twitch. So we have the new uh, Japanese battleship, uh, battle cruiser tech tree line. Uh, the Yamahari Adatada and Bungo, <laughs> as well as Japanese premium battleship uh, Tsurugi, have been added to the game for testing. For the upcoming testing uh, session, a branch of Japanese battleships will be added to the game. At tier 8, the main batteries represented by 8 410mm guns, and at tier 9 and 10, uh, 8 and 10 457mm guns, respectively. So, going to be more overmatched in the game at high tier, so that's. Um, makes the cruiser life increasingly harder the more overmatch they're adding into the game granted they're not 460s so but they're still 470s and they can hurt a lot new ships are stealthy battle cruisers relying on long range guns with good accuracy and damage per salvo as well as a new type of equipment spotting aircraft with high precision optics so this is a new um i'm gonna just call it a bs consumable dead eye consumable <laughs> Uh, when active, this type of spotting aircraft increases not only your main battery guns range, but also their accuracy. I think it's a plus 10% you get to your main battery guns, but they'll tell us here in a minute. Among the disadvantages of these new battleships, they have low HP pools, weak armor, and weak A defenses, but they have decent speed. Um, but with that lack of armor, kind of goes with the speed. Um, so, battle cruiser. So, this is the Mahari, uh, tier 8. Uh, after the end of the Russo-Japanese War, Japan adopted the A-8 fleet plan, according to which their fleet was to consist of eight battleships and eight fast armored cruisers. This plan went through a number of changes, particularly with the armored cruisers replaced by battle cruisers, and the number of ships was reduced. However, after the outbreak of World War I, ship construction resumed. Design of the new battle cruiser was an evolution of the Congo class. Design was later and resulted in the Amagi class. Here you have the Adatara, tier 9. So this becomes the 457mm guns. Uh, across the ship um i think was it this line so yeah i'm gonna just look i'm gonna cheat real quick was it here oh, i think it's on it's on the premium ship we'll get to that here in a minute um after the united states announced an ambitious shipbuilding plan pro building program in 1919 the japanese naval plan was revised it required four battleships and four battle cruisers to be built. Thirteen variants of battleships and battle cruisers were proposed. The so-called Project A, which became the key class, was chosen as the battleship, and Project K was chosen for the battle cruisers. Construction was scheduled to begin 1922, but because of the Washington Conference, these battle cruisers were not laid down. Interesting. Japanese battleship. Bungo, tier 10. So this has 10 457mm guns, three turrets on the um, stern, two on the bow. After revision, Japanese fleet development plan, new battleships and battle cruisers were ordered. Project L, an enlarged version of Project A, which became T class, was developed. It also armed five main battery turrets with larger caliber guns. Have this design exceeded key and displacement by 9,000 tons? which would have resulted in a significant increase in cost. Both key and these ships were prevented from being built by the Washington Conference, um, which resulted in a temporary ban on battleship construction and a limit on total tonnage. But the Japanese never had 457mm guns, so it would have been 460s, not 457s. <clears throat> so, um, the Tier 8, 62,200, I think... I think like Massachusetts has like 66,300 just for comparison. I don't know what a Moggy has off the top of my head. Yeah, I wouldn't expect to have a very high percentage torpedo belt protection because it's a battle cruiser. It's not um, uh, like, you know, the standard battleship Yamato line, which has a high torpedo protection. So the 410k good range. Um, not to take into account, of course, uh, spotter plane. Well, Fighter spotting aircraft. We'll talk about that. Um, Amagi sits around 66k too. Okay, yeah. That that makes sense. Thanks for sharing. Um, let's see. 30% chance of causing fires. APs, 12,000. K 
8k, 870, 26 seconds. So yeah, but usually battlecruisers lines in the game, like looking at the German battlecruiser line, Schlieffen line, they tend to have a uh, faster reload, not the starting point at 30 seconds. So you can get this 26 seconds down. What? Um, So you can shave this over three seconds off. So he's seeing 22 something. Um, da, 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 da. And then you got the airstrike, depth charge airstrike. One flight, two flights. So two bombs. Secondary armament. You can buff it up. Let's we'll see, 127 millimeters. So I don't know if this will be a secondary line or not. Uh, AA defense. Be interesting to see. So short range, long range. Is this supposed to be medium range? And they didn't say. That's just this AA defense overall. Okay, A seems okay. Yeah, I'd say just okay. Probably not it won't be the best in the game by any means 30 knots okay so you can get that up and concealment 14.7 so what um i don't know how to do the uh, oh the 14.7 minus 1.47 Minus 1.32. So under 12 km conceal. That might be. I mean, that's. That's not bad for tier 8. That's good. So it allows you to get in closer with your. Well, with this one, your 410 millimeter guns. Um, okay, so your concealables, damage control party, repair party. And then this is, you can either choose fighter or the spotting aircraft with the high precision optics. So this is going to be an effect that lasts for 65 seconds. It'll be up to see if you can make it last longer or not. We don't know. Um, main battery firing range plus 10%. So I think, isn't normal spotter like 20%? Right? Off the top of my head, I'm just saying that. I might be wrong. Yeah, 20%. Okay. Sometimes I'm just not sure, and getting over this cold, I wouldn't, uh, so they nerfed it, what they did. They said they nerfed the range, but your max shell dispersion is negative 20%. Um, reload time for 20 seconds, five charges. So this is, Dead Eye was, I saw, I heard someone say something earlier, they said it was negative 10%, but I, but it maybe that's right. I was thinking it was negative 20% was what Dead Eye was, but that, maybe that doesn't sound right at all. It's like so hard when they had so many changes around the commander upgrade update in 10.0 that I can't keep track of all the changes because they took Dead, out, Dead Eye out in 10.4. So, okay, so negative 20% dispersion. So this is your vertical and horizontal dispersions are getting tighter. And then when we look back up here, uh, your Sigma is high. 2.2 but your dispersion is 248 meters so probably you can get this down in the third slot with the aiming systems modification also those new battle cruisers had hygiene bb dispersion not battle cruiser or normal bb dispersion um yeah also these new battle cruisers have yeah battleship dispersion yeah good to know good to point out um so yeah so it'll be like schlieffen line as an example so battleship dispersion but you can improve so we'll have to see um because this dispersion these these numbers are higher than the tier 8 amagi tier 9 izumo i'm not going to go through everything specific just like i did because it's it's pretty similar across the board once you look at tier 8 tier 9 tier 10 but i think the tier the bungo i think I think it has a it I think Yamato's is 272 meters dispersion or it's above 270. So slightly better here, but you get to take the unique upgrade in the 6th slot. 
But uh, quickly looking at um, Atatara, 71,000 hit points. A um, little bit better torpedo protection. 35% chance starting fire, 13,500 shell, AP shell damage. So it's gone up. So then you get 30 seconds because you have uh, now five, uh, 10 457 millimeter guns. So then you're going to go up from your 26 second reload to 30 seconds. So that makes sense. Um, 45 second degree turn time. So you know you can work on getting that down, of course, between if you want that in the third slot on your upgrades or if you want that on your commander grease the gears. Probably what I'd say is probably you go for aiming systems mod in the third slot and then take grease the gears. On, the, um, on your commander. 256 meters maximum dispersion, 2.2 sigma. Secondary armament. Looks like it's actually second seven kilometer. What was it up here? Was it six six or was it more? I'm blind. Six six. Okay, yeah. So a little bit better at your secondaries. Your AA still seems okay. 5.8 kilometer, so 5.8. So standard 5.8 kilometer AA in the game. Also 30 knots. Turning circle radius 880. Ridership time seems pretty big, 16.2. Yeah, it was better on the tier 8, 15.2. Uh, 15 kilometers. So what? Um, Twelve point fifteen. Really? Ten percent. Then take another ten percent off. That's pretty good. That's pretty good conceal. So imagine getting you know twelve point fifteen kilometers close with these uh, ten four hundred fifty seven millimeter guns. That that's pretty good. Yeah, and a slightly bigger smoke firing penalty. Not that that's a thing you have to worry about. And still the spotting aircraft with high precision optics. Tier 10. Okay, so 82,800. And your motto has what, like 106,000? Or is it 105,000? And Monty's 96,000, I think. 96,300, I believe. Still 25 millimeter plating. So it's. Definitely a battle cruiser, 45 millimeter across the board, 36%. So you only go up 1% on your torpedo protection, 35 to 36. Imato doesn't have more than 100k. Is it 98? 98. Or is it GK that has 105? <laughs> Talking off the top of my head. You can let me know if you find it in chat. 97, 98, okay. So, yeah. So you can have a lower hit point pool, so you just have to be mindful of that overall. Oh, I'm sorry. This has 8457 millimeter guns on the Auditara, 10 on the Boongo. So I made a mistake. Let me correct that um, earlier. So 25 kilometer firing range. That's without even building into it, so. Yeah. HE shell damage, 35% fire, 7,300. So they kept it at 13,500, so they didn't buff it anymore. Um, so they're still using the same 457 mirror guns, it makes sense. 30 second reload time. Dispersion, 45 seconds, okay. 11 kilometer on your depth charge airstrike. 7.3. So we've gone from 6.67 to 7.3. Your AA. Is that they kind of change, kind of flipping the numbers around. One A three. So it is definitely better than tier nine. Just trying to compare, trying to see the progression of what is the ideology with wargaming when they go up the line. Fifteen forty, fourteen seventy, fourteen seventy. So I don't think you don't get medium range AA, I think, on the tier 8. It's not listed here, so interesting. 
Um, da, 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 30 knots, 960 meters. So you go from 880 meters to 96, 960 meters, 17.4. Let's look at Yamato. Japan. Without building into it. Uh, maneuverability. Oh, we can look at hit point pool too. Oh, we're here. 97,200. Okay. Uh, 900 meters, 22.1. 900 meters. Okay, so you have a larger turning circle radius. But a better rudder shift time, which that's accurate, I would say, because um, you have more tonnage with the Yamato than what you would with this. So that makes sense. So 17.4 versus 22. So that's good. 15 kilometer. So it's the same as the Adatara. So it means the same concealment values. So 12, 15. Sixteen five, yeah, they kept that the same. Okay, same consumables, same um, spotting aircraft. Sorry, we're probably taking a lot of time on this. I hope you guys don't mind. Okay, well, let's see. And then they've got this uh, new um, premium Japanese battleship coming in, uh, battle cruiser. Um, I'm not gonna read all this. Um, Powerful long range battery guns, deep water torpedoes, similar to Sashio's, but with a shorter range. So, uh, another battleship with torpedoes. The ship is also notable for its high speed, good concealment. As for disadvantages, she has a small HP pool, weak armor, particularly around the Citadel. So, tier 9, 69,700. Uh, a better torpedo protection belt than the new Tech Tree line, but only six 47mm guns. This makes you kind of begin to actually quite think of um, Georgia, right? One turret on the rear, two on the front. Um, now in terms of the secondaries, uh, they don't actually have any information about that. Oh, it's down here, seven kilometer. With 140 millimeter and 127 millimeter. Okay, so they had 140 millimeters. Okay, so I wonder if it's just copy paste from the tier nine. Um, 7,300 HE shell damage, 17,500 AP shell damage. Uh, 28 second reload time. So, uh, let's see. In the six slot, 28 minus 3.36. So you're getting 24.6 second reload time. 45 second uh, torch traverse time, 234 meters, uh, 234 meters dispersion, and 2.05 sigma. So, uh, um, worse sigma compared to the tech tree line, but the question becomes are they also giving this ship, are they giving a battle cruiser or battleship dispersion? I do not know when it comes to this ship. Um, 10 kilometer range for the depth charge airstrike, that's good. At least it's not 6 or 5. Torpedo two, so you get 610 millimeter torpedoes. Deep torpedoes that can hit only battleships, aircraft carriers, so not cruisers. So don't think you can, if you get the ship, that you can yellow a cruiser. <laughs> 20,967 range, 15 kilometers. Wait, didn't it say short range? Oh, just a shorter range in Asashios. So I think Asashios is like 20 kilometers. Maybe I don't own the ship, so 67 knots. Reload time 150 seconds, so two and a half minutes. Torpedo detectability 0.9 kilometer. So you're gonna see a lot of, you're gonna see Tsurgi players sailing around broadside, spamming their torpedoes every time they reload, showing their vulnerable citadel. <laughs> That's funny. AA defense is worse. 35.85. Yeah. So you get worse AA with this line too. So they nerfed the AA because of getting torpedoes, I guess. 1540. 35 knots. 970 meter turning circle radius. Rudder shift time 16 seconds. Surface detectability 14.1. 
Yeah, so let's go minus 1.41, minus 1.26. So 11.4 concealment on a tier 9 to Sergei. So this is not the brawling battleship that Georgia is, but um, sort of reminds me of Incomparable a little bit. A little bit. Sergey gets Azuma dispersion slightly better than that. Okay. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I figured if they're giving it more Sigma, then they're probably giving it Battle Cruiser dispersion. Thanks, uh, Season Indie. Appreciate it. Um, with damage control party, repair party. So they didn't give it the um, spotter plane, spotting aircraft with high precision optics. <coughs> so. I mean, if they're giving a battle cruiser dispersion, that'd be a bit much. Because it's kind of like, why... I mean, I wonder with this line, right, as I had to hide this. You know, uh, so they take away your battle cruiser dispersion, but they give you a consumable that gives you 20% better dispersion, reducing your dispersion by 20% in a consumable rather than it giving you battle cruiser. I don't know, it kind of seems a roundabout way of just adding in something new and making it more steps than maybe what needs to be. Granted, then you don't get that better dispersion um, for majority of the battle, so. Yeah. Uh, naming reasons for new battleships. Wait, am I even looking at the right one? Oh, I'm not even looking at the right dev blog, guys. <laughs> we get to the end. I didn't click refresh. <laughs> uh, oh well. Well, we're gonna have two. We're gonna have two. I, I will try not to take long on this one. So the new dockyard, uh, tier 10 Pan Asian destroyer uh, Lushun will begin on the Tan Yun dockyard. Uh, so that's what the ship's gonna look like. 35 phases, 30 wish complete, completed via the dockyard's combat mission groups. Um, 12.7, 12.8 in the first two weeks, 12.9. So five phases you're gonna have to buy with the balloons. Uh, concealed maneuvers, the temporary battle type concealed maneuvers, which first appear in update 12.6. Um, <laughs> its main purpose is to test new mechanics for aircraft carrier squadrons, the airdrop sea mines, and the smoke curtain generator. I've seen the airdrop sea mines get a lot more attention then the smoke curtain generator, so. And this generation will be possible to test the mechanics on two aircraft carriers were previously removed from the game, Taiho and Essex, which I don't think they were tier 10. I think they were different tiers. Could be wrong. They will be available for rent, completing a special combat mission. So I don't know if I necessarily uh, care. But, uh, and so that's what Taiho looks like. And then Essex. Okay. Uh, battles will be held 9v9, tier 9, tier 10 ships. Essex bombers will be able to summon a special airstrike that deploys a minefield. As far as their characteristics, they are similar to Midways. We search for dive bombers. Carriers also armed with Midway stock torpedo bombers and torpedo sight settings from Lexington, as well as Midway stock aircraft equipped from tiny Tim rockets and faster sight narrowing. So Essex is the minefield. I don't know about mines. I don't think Wargame is going to implement it very well. Tiles, uh, tactical aircraft will be equipped with smoke curtain generator. They are armed with rockets from Shikaku attack aircraft, but with reduced damage, the ship also has stock Hakuryu torpedo bombers with reduced cruising speed, and Hakuryu researchable dive bombers with an increased number of aircraft on deck. Damage focus was shifted from torpedo bombers to the other squadrons compared to Hakuryu. Okay, I don't know too much about carriers, so I'm not really gonna look at the parameters so much, but in terms of the mines, I mean, you can see some of what Famu's talked about it, right? Um, he had an interesting, uh, there was a Reddit discussion about it with some interesting facts that, you know, if 
the mines don't render until you're like right on top of them for you as a player and another player can't see the mines that you're seeing and they can't disable they, they can't drop depth charge airstrikes or for you to help you out um because those mines don't generate for them unless and they come into the minefield then the mines generate differently for them than the other guy who's also in the minefield so um because it's like hundreds upon hundreds of objects that the game engine would have to visualize and so apparently the engines there's questions concerns that they actually can't handle it so that's why they're doing it the way they did it ranked battles update 12.7 to 13 season of ranked battles will start um and battles will be held in 6v6 format tier 8 ships in bronze league tier 9 ships in silver and gold leagues okay so no cvs in tier 9 Okay, so um, in the 13th season, the rule for retaining a star in case of defeat is the same as for all leagues. Only first player by experience will earn the remain star. We will share more details about the season as a later update. Okay, clan battles. 22nd season, the clan battles and the condo will start on August 23rd. Battles will be held 7v7 format, tier 10 ships and super ships. Restrictions. Aircraft carriers and submarines are not allowed to participate in the battles no more than one super ship per team so maybe you see a lot of annapolises and conde if you're playing for objective annapolis is going to be better to go with now i don't know so much about the new super petropavlovsk um i haven't seen it in action so i can't really say <laughs> yeah josh taho and essex you filthy cv lover um so one super ship per team Got to see how that one goes. Uh, they're share more updates about the clan battle season, so typical. But they look so pretty. Yeah, they do look pretty, but I don't want more CVs in the game. <laughs> <coughs> this is a big one. Uh, changes to ranked and clan tokens. Not that this affects the majority of players in the game, but they're going to remove them from the game in exchange for steel. These are really grindy to get. Um, if you want clan tokens, you need to be in a really good clan. Um, High, highly competitive clan get clan tokens ranked you got to rank all the way out through gold league not many players do that i never have ranked out in gold league which was kind of purpose or we're, we're trying to work towards towards tonight a little bit and getting out of silver into gold so conversion for ranked tokens will be 600 steel for one rank token and 2000 steel for one clan token as part of this update camouflage is previously available for these tokens will be available for steel purchase these camouflages will be vised according to the exchange rate Camouflage is available for three clan tokens or ten clan rank tokens will cost six thousand steel. <coughs> so if you haven't had a chance to purchase camouflage for tokens, you have the opportunity to get them for steel in this update. I mean, that's not bad. That's good to see. I mean, I think not many people are getting clan and rank tokens, so they're just exchanging it. You get steel instead, so um, or you removing ranked clan tokens. So I think that's okay. I think it's a good thing to go for. Insignia selection update. The tab with patches. Um, the tab of patches emblems has been updated. Patch designer. In which players will be able to create their own patch by combining different available elements. You'll be able to choose the symbol, shape, color of the edges, as well as customized background and color texture. The ability to generate random patch from available elements was added. I do think this is cool. I think this is a good thing. Um, categorization of symbol patches. Uh, emblems has been added in addition to improved rendering technologies patches including existing ones will look more realistic unique upgrades for petropavlovsk and viktolfin were added ap shells with ballistic tip for petropavlovsk um, they do your ap shell damage to plus 10 percent maximum dispersion of main battery shells reduced by negative seven percent some more accurate shells kind of reminds you of mosk a little bit number of consumable charges you lose a, a radar hydro, and I, I don't know if it came if you get defensive aid with Petro or not. Aerodynamic torpedo stabilizers for the Riptoffin in the sixth slot. You have 50% additional HP hit points for your um, torpedo planes, torpedo bombers. Maximum torpedo damage plus 10%. Max aiming a torpedo arming distance is reduced by negative 10%. <coughs> that's right, that's a buff, right? Torpedo arming distance, they're reducing it. So you don't need as much distance for the torpedoes to arm. Am I understanding that right? Is that what they're saying? 
Um, trade in for the first two weeks of version 12.7. A special tab will be available in the armory. Uh, you can exchange certain tier 5 through tier 10 premium special ships for a significant discount on the purchase of other premium and special ships with the balloons. Rare ships that are difficult or impossible to obtain are exchanged for a larger discount. Um, if the exchange ship offers a discount greater than the value of the purchased ship, the exchange takes place without additional payments. The difference in value is not compensated. Oof. Okay. We'll share more de up details soon in 12.7 at, at a later update. Okay, so this is... Uh, they do this in World of Tanks, apparently. Um, I don't know if it's all the time in World of Tanks or just different trade-in events. Um, so if you... This says that where ships are difficult or impossible to obtain. So I'm thinking, is this Benham? Is this Missouri? Is this Summers? So I'm just naming American ships. Sean Barr, Massachusetts, right? Are these the type of ships you can get your hands on? Um, I mean, they're impo those, certain of those ships are impossible to get right now. I mean, Jean Barr, yes, you can get through the army event happening right now for a very steep price. But, you know, I'm wondering, oh, if, you know, if there's these tier five premium ships like Marblehead, um, or is there like Marblehead Lima, right? You can get them for coal, but they also, you can get them for doubloons. So if I buy these tier fives for the coal, will I be able to trade that in to take some price off if I have a large amount of coal, but maybe not a lot of doubloons, and then take it towards reducing the price of one of these rarer ships? I don't know. I, I wonder that, but uh, we'll have to see. wonder if you can trade in for any ship in the premium shop or if it will be a predetermined set of ships that can be traded in for. Um, I don't know about the premium shop since it says it'll be in the armory. <coughs> it, feel, it might be any. It, can, it could be maybe any premium ship you can get in the premium shop, but I don't know. Uh, other improvements and changes. Um, added a system recommend upgrades for each ship. Similar to commander skills, such upgrades will be marked with a special symbol in the UI. Also add a button to purchase and install all recommended upgrades and free slots at once. Um, The battles type selection screen has been updated. Permanent battle types are also displayed at the top, while temporary and seasonal battle types are displayed at the bottom. Added new descriptions and updated existing descriptions for all battle types and are displayed when clicking on the eye information button. Added tool tips for certain battle types that pop up when hovering over the battle type icon, showing limits on tier, ship types, specific ships, time into the battle, end of the battle, type, sprint, or prime time. That's all good stuff. I think this is all really good. Um, so, my understanding with this here is like so for example if i'm doing an upgrade commander build and i'm trying to show you different um upgrades so you can see what the upgrade will look like on your ship and the stats will change without before you actually purchase it so um <coughs> in theory this should help me out with my uh, upgrade commander build videos new content permanent camouflage is freeland for numancia and adventure for leave and task i wonder if i wonder if that wings move leave and task Navigator, Treasures, Patch, and Flag. A commander for Soviet ships with the Soviet flag. National Navy of Uruguay flag. Added premium container flags from which you can get one of 97 different cosmetic flags with 100% probability. In case you already have all flags from the container, you receive 15,000 coal. The visuals of the container are still WIP. Work in progress. Okay. So, if you appreciated uh, the video, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you didn't, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it as we're growing the community to very close to 1,500 subscribers. So, uh, once we hit 1,500 subscribers, we will have a community game day on the NA and EU server where we uh, will be on Twitch. Uh, you can division up with me. We'll play ops together. Um, so, there'll be more details to come once we hit 1,490 subscribers. I'll throw some stuff up in the community tab. So I really appreciate the support and growth here in the FLT community. So I hope you have a great day and take care.